Hi everyone, uh, Merry Christmas. Um, welcome to Microaces Workshop once again for a bit of a news roundup for the uh, for the end of the year. Um, as I said, a very Merry Christmas. I've got my Christmas jumper on. This arrived yesterday. I don't think I've ever had a Christmas jumper before. And Well, apart from when I was a child, I suppose. Um, so uh, there we go. Very Nordic, I think. Um, rather enjoying it. <laughs> Feel very, very festive. Um, so I thought I'd uh, I'd put a little video together as uh, as is my want as is my want um, for the uh, for the news for December 2020. Um, didn't do one in November 2020 uh, for one very good reason. Uh, we were absolutely inundated with uh, with orders, which is absolutely fantastic and uh, <laughs> i had really just have to thank you guys for um, supporting micro aces um through this year it's been uh, it's been peculiar i know uh, it's been very different for for everyone but um it's been uh, fantastic um here that we've had people like you guys supporting us um and this last three months has been utterly utterly crazy um, in, in mostly a really really good way um we've had uh, we've had so many orders i i, I looked at the, the stats earlier today and um and this last quarter is up by 80 percent which is phenomenal it's absolutely incredible and as a as a business it it allows us to put some of our our dreams, our, our plans, um, uh, bring them forward um, for the business, put things in place. Uh, the one thing that we have done um, uh, lately from, from November is uh, Simon, my business partner, has been able to come in full time um, and for the foreseeable future, as long as we can sort of maintain the, uh, the, the, the momentum of the business, um, then... Uh, then we can sustain that. And and uh, Simon has come in, and the first thing that he's done is uh, is taken over production. And fortunately, he's he's much better at it than I am, uh, much more organised. And uh, and so what that in effect is going to do is uh, provide us with um, stock rather than my uh, approach which was a sort of a just in time or, or not in time um, delivery of, uh, of product um, where orders would come in and, and then product would be made and then orders would be shipped out. Um, Simon, uh, because we now have two people working, working the, uh, the business, um, he's able to, and the plan is, for him to um, produce stock, so we have we have actual kit parts on the shelf, ready to pull off at all times, um, so that an order comes in, and we can quickly pack it, and and ship it out. Because uh, the other issue that we have had is uh, is electronics and and getting enough of the electronics and getting the electronics reliable enough. Um, and over the past two, three months, um, I've certainly seen a massive increase in reliability of the, uh, of the electronics that we're receiving, which is fantastic. And I know that the manufacturers have been working really, really hard to, uh, to get that sorted out for us, which is, which is great. Um, but obviously we now need volume because we're in, we're in a situation where uh, the the products coming in the the electronics um, and everything within that pack almost is already allocated to orders that we've received and we need to get ahead of the game um, which is what we're working on at the moment um, although uh, the 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 uh, the packages that have gone out uh, yesterday which are all the all the UK ones which which get to the last post it's the it's the uh, the nineteenth I'm recording this on the nineteenth of December. So they all went uh, yesterday on Friday and, and the day before Thursday, um, and a lot of them have gone out without electronics. Um, we would have had the electronics had it not been for the fact that it seems to be that there's been a huge uh, backlog uh, in getting stuff through ports of entry, 
within uh, or into the uh, the UK. Um, and uh, we do have a we do have a monthly order that that comes in. Unfortunately, it got delayed. I've just seen. I've checked this morning uh, to see, and it's it is on its way. So hopefully, I'll be able to get the electronics off to those that haven't got any in their box at the moment, um, but at least at least got a box to open on Christmas Day. Um, I'll be able to get that off between uh, Christmas and New Year. And the great thing is, of course, that. A lot of our kits, the, or the vast majority of our kits, can be built almost to their entirety or to, to, to completion uh, without having to install the uh, the receiver. And uh, so you can crack on with uh, with the build, um, and uh, and the receiver will land on your doorstep or um, your, your entrance mat um, through the uh, through the post relatively shortly. So that's great news. So, um, so because of your support, um, which uh, I, once again I thank you for uh, immensely. Those that have that have uh, have talked about us, um, who've who've promoted us to to their friends and uh, and colleagues uh, in their the flying clubs and uh, their social groups. Um, those that have sent images to us of and and video of them flying our kits. And also an enormous thank you um, goes out to uh, a, a chap called John Stennard. Um, you know who you are. You get a massive, massive thank you for your um, for your articles that you wrote about, uh, about our kits. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. Um, and the response has been terrific um, for that too. So, um, so that's Simon on board. Uh, getting us all organised for the new year. Um, one of the downsides of being so darned busy um, was that our Percy project has uh, fallen behind and uh, a kit that we hoped to bring to you in October, um, it looks like now it's going to be uh, January um, that we'll be delivering it. We've, we've got all the electronics, um, we've got the servos, the one thing that I haven't been able to do that I want to do before we send the kits out is to do the final build of the the, the post prototype um, kit uh, just to make sure that everything fits, um, everything goes together as it should do. Um, I have been working on it <laughs> in the little opportunity that I get um, over the weekend. Um, so I, I'm going to show you so far where we're where we're at so uh, i have been i've been building both types so we've got our nacelles um here the light's a bit harsh for that but you can see i'll bring it back around. there we go so that's the uh the nacelle and we've got uh i've got both of them for the uh the military as we we call it um there this one's got the uh the well it hasn't got the motor installed but it's got a gearbox installed you can see that 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 just that's magnet and a little tongue latch there, um, and then the motor the motor sits uh, sits in there and then the cell, um, so you have access to it. Um, so if you need to change it out or add a little bit of oil or stuff like that, but um, really happy with the way it's all going together. And this Tyvek stuff is just is just brilliant. Um, there's the there's the rather more elegant uh, debonair. Once again, that's. Uh, latch and magnet so uh, so we're getting there um, that's what I'm going to be filming later on today after I finish this video um, putting putting the uh, the, the, uh, the Percy together um, Simon's working on the on the manual too um, so that's that's happening in unison but I will be completing the video and I'll send the kits out uh, and depending on how far Simon is down the line with the manual, I may send as I, as I promised before uh, to send the kits out without manual, but with access to the video, so that you can you can follow the video um, to uh, to put the uh, put the kit together. Um, more on the um, uh, the Percy uh, a little bit later. So I've got my notes over here on the uh, on the screen. I'm just having a quick look. That's why my eyes are all over the place. I'm not on drugs. Um, so. Yeah, so we will be 
uh, back on track with the first seed um, after Christmas and, uh, and get that done. SC5A version 2. Um, it's gone down a storm. Uh, lots of people have decided to, to go for the, uh, uh, the Silver uh, Royal Australian Air Force um, livery. And uh, I will be releasing over Christmas a video that I shot of me putting the, uh, the, the SE5A version 2 kit uh, together. Uh, it's going to be in a series, I think, of 12 or even maybe 13 videos. Each one of them is an hour long. <laughs> um, it doesn't normally take me 13 hours to put an SE5A together, but I think um, talking and doing at the same time um, uh, obviously <laughs> extended the, uh, uh, the process a little bit. Um, and also, I, it's warts and all, the video. Um, I, I haven't uh, cut much of it out. Uh, I haven't uh, fast-forwarded bits. It's, uh, it's all there. There's some really, really useful stuff in there. There's probably some very, very misleading stuff as well. <laughs> but uh, but keep, your, um, keep, your, keep your lighter fluid handy so you can take reverse steps um, when, uh, when you need to and uh, release that yoohoo poor glue um so uh, so look out for that over christmas um i've uh, i've got all the video it's all it's all shot i just need to cut it up a bit tidy it up slightly and uh, and then i'll start um start releasing it and i'll uh, send out emails and it'll be on social media and, uh, and all that sort of stuff um and i think that let's just see I think that pretty much wraps it up. We've got, uh, apart from 2020, 2021 is going to be enormously exciting. We have a number of products planned um, that are hopefully going to blow your socks off. And that's what we're hoping anyway. Um, uh, it's, it's very exciting. We've been working with our um, electronics partner. Um, and we've got obviously we've got the, the twin engine uh, or the twin uh, electronic speed controller um, receiver um, that will be available very shortly as soon as we've got the Percy out the door. Um, so if you've got your own twin projects, um, then uh, then there's there's something there for you that's plug and play um, that will uh, that will help you with those projects and. Um, there are other things that I can't talk about at the moment. I desperately want to. There are a few of you out there who don't know about them that I've discussed with, but uh, that's to get good feedback and uh, and all that sort of thing. But um, yeah, there's there's going to be some uh, some real excitements in 2021. So stick with us. Um, keep watching. Keep buying. Keep building. Um, and what I've got for you now. Um, is a, a video. I thought we'd finish on a video uh, of this was the uh, the Percy uh, on one of its. Um, I think this this was its its second um, maiden flight, uh, the one where I'd hooked up all the channels. Um, so we have uh, ailerons, uh, elevator, rudder, and obviously we've got the um, uh, differential thrust. On the motors as well um, and uh, so it's all hooked up trying to push the boundaries i'm not the world's best flyer uh, by any means and i'm sure there are the people out there guys out there um, who will fly this a lot better than me but uh, it was it was in windy conditions i was sort of pushing the the envelope uh, a little bit with uh, aerobatics it you know it's it's not the uh, um the percival uh, q6 which it, it's based around um is uh it, i i suppose it's not particularly aerobatic but um i thought i'd try and bring out of it what i uh, what i could um only very briefly i i tried to keep it as uh, as neat as possible but it was quite a windy day um and uh it was great fun. 
anyway a really good fun so uh i bid you farewell i wish you a very very uh, happy and hearty christmas um and uh, let us all have a a very uh, safe um a very uh, healthy and a very secure new year um uh, so i'll sign off here and i'll uh, i'll let you watch the video cheerio see you next year Ailerons? 